I got a lot of wrinkles to cover up. Completely dry, like. Guys, I just heard something downstairs and no one's downstairs. Scared the crap out of me. Waterproof, but comes off with warm water. Is that a thing? I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. Today's video is trying on new makeup. I recently got in two huge hauls from Ulta and Sephora and I want to go ahead and try on all those products for you guys and give some reviews on how I like them or if I don't like them. I am just doing kind of a natural look today, as you can see. So like an everyday look. I don't have a lot going on today, so I didn't want to do like a full glam. But if you are interested to see the new products that I got in and how they apply on the skin, I did get some higher end products that I'm gonna try, like the Patrick Ta blush. I have the Laura Mercier Brightening Under Eye Powder. I also have the Laura Mercier highlighter. I have a new Hourglass palette. Um, I also got in some KKW lip products, lip liner, lipstick, and the Hourglass mascara, which is my all-time favorite. So stick around, watch the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do beauty content, I do day in the life vlogs, and we are going to get right into it. For primer, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true, it never fills up or anything, the MAC Natural Radiance Primer. I'm doing like an everyday more natural look because I don't have a lot to do today, just like errands and stuff. So I'm not gonna do like a full glam, more of a natural look. And this really makes my makeup last all day under a mask. And I'm gonna go in with the MAC strobe cream, just on the high points of my face make it extra dewy. NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And this is the shade 1.5. I'm a little paler right now. So I'm gonna use the lighter shade that I have and I'm gonna go in with a MAC 170 brush first and then I'm gonna go over it with my beauty blender Let's disregard um, This little bitch right here because she's refusing to go away But we all are getting mask you mask me right now. I think so. We'll just disregard her She's here to stay for a couple days. But this does a pretty good job at covering everything. And I kind of like to push it in. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 190W. This is one of my new products I have not used yet and I'm super excited because everyone has been raving about this. So we are gonna see how she does. It's a weird applicator. It's like a straight edge. Here. I've heard this goes a really long way, so I'm not gonna do a ton. I only needed one. I'm gonna go in with a wet sponge. This 
this blends really fast like I've been using the hourglass concealer for a long time and it just it's so dry and it creases so bad that I was looking for a more moisturizing oh my gosh this is so good this is gonna be my new favorite That still has a lot of coverage for being like a lighter concealer. My camera's like really washed out right now. I don't know why. That looks really nice. The next new thing I got, I got the new Laura, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. So I'm gonna put it under my under eyes, duh. And it just looks like this. It's like a smaller version of their regular setting powder. Oh, put too much in there. I just take a brush to put it under I'm scared to use so many new products because then I don't know if one works and one doesn't because I use them all together. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll just really like everything and then it'll all be good. I think you'd probably have to bake with this to really brighten it up, but I wanted a new under eye powder. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, next I am going to... Actually, I am gonna set my whole face. I'm just gonna go with my favorite Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish, flawless finish in the shade two medium. And I'm gonna set my whole face with this because I forgot I wanted to use the Hourglass palette. Just a little bit. Okay, and I don't have any new eyeshadows that I want to use so I'm just going to go in a little bit with the Natasha Denona mini nude palette and a little bit of the Colourpop nude mood palette. I'm just going to do a little bit on my lids. Okay, for brows, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. This has been my go-to for a long time, like probably eight years. It's just the best pencil. And it's really thin. The color is a really good match. I got my brows tinted yesterday, so they are Looking pretty good, but I have some sparse areas that I like to fill in just with the pencil. And I'm really simple with my eyebrows. I don't go with anything except the pencil, so. I do not know how YouTubers literally just have their mirror like across the room and they're looking at their camera screen. I have to be like literally what I'm doing, my eyebrows and mascara, so. Um, I just did my brows. I put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I need to get some bronzer on my face because I'm looking washed out. So I don't know if I want to use this new Hourglass palette for bronzer. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. It's kind of shimmery. The highlighter is really pretty. Maybe we'll just use the highlighter in this. That's a gorgeous palette. Actually, I want to try a little bit of this. I think that they want this to be like a setting powder. I want to use a little bit of that under my eyes for a little bit more. 
I got a lot of wrinkles to cover up. Oh, that's really pretty. That looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna use that for the highlighter later. Let's bronze. I think, so my go-to bronzers are the MAC Beijing Beauty Radiant Matte Bronzing Powder, um, which they don't sell anymore and I'm so scared I'm gonna run out. But that's what that looks like. It's like the perfect bronzing shade. And I'm scared that I'm never gonna be able to find another one like that. And then I like to always top it with the bronzed Bondi Becca Sunlit Bronzer. And this is, a, it has a little bit, like a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's the most sun-kissed bronze color. It's so pretty. It's a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush with this Becca bronzer and just bronze the cheeks some, bring some color back. And I put this like everywhere and then I'll go back over it and contour more. Yeah, that looks so much better. And then I will go back and contour with the MAC. I do a little bit of the MAC bronzer on my nose because this nose needs contouring. I know it needs a lot more contouring than this, but I am not good at it, so I just do a little bit. Okay, looking a little better with some bronzer on. Let's go in with the new Patrick Ta blush. Actually, I want to do eyeliner first. I got a brown Kat Von D ta tattoo liner. Okay, I hope this doesn't look terrible because my camera is being really weird right now. I'm just gonna line a little bit. I don't do a lot of liner because like I said, I'm doing more of a natural look. We are not gonna go, we are not gonna use this eyeliner because I bought it yesterday and it's completely dry. Like, that was a loud bang underneath me. I just heard something downstairs and no one's downstairs. What the fuck? Okay, Mike just went downstairs. No one broke in. The Amazon delivery guy threw the box so hard that it sounded like someone like kicked our door in downstairs. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Um, okay, we're not gonna use this tattoo liner because it's completely dried out and I'm kind of pissed about that because what is it like $20? I don't know, but I'll be returning that. Um, I guess we're gonna go in with, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this elf liner little pot thing um just on top of my lashes okay i just did a little bit on my eyes 
I guess I should have zoomed you guys in earlier. Um, this is what my face is looking like so far. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, I want to go in with some blush. And I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment in the shade She's Adorable. I can't. Okay, do they not want you to open this? What the fuck? Okay. It's like a nude shade. I'm just gonna go in with this little brush I used for blush. I don't know how pigmented. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know how washed out this is looking for my lights, but we'll see at the end, I guess. Maybe I won't post this if it looks like crap. So, shitty YouTuber of the year. Um, okay, let's go in with some highlight and get this done because I need to go soon. And I'm gonna use this Hourglass highlighter, this top one. We're gonna see how this looks. Actually, I'm gonna go in on my nose. In the corners of my eyes. Oh, that's really pretty. And then we'll do a little bit. I just want to see what this looks like, so we'll do a little bit. This is really natural looking, which I like. I do not like to be beaming to Mars when I put highlight on. I just want a little bit of natural. It's really pretty. Okay. I'm a fan of this. I need to use the other colors. I didn't try that. And I don't know about that bronzer. Maybe as an eyeshadow, but it's a little shimmery for me to use as a bronzer. So I like that. I've also been loving this new, new to me, this new um, Laura Mercier highlight in the shade one, Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And it's a really soft highlight, but it's really pretty. I got that recently and I really like that as well. Um, what is next? I need to, I think I'm gonna spray. Yeah, let's spray. Okay. My go-to is normally the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I also like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, obviously, but I have been loving this e.l.f. <laughs> This e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. They, kudos to e.l.f. on this, um, this nozzle because it's like, it's so thin. Um, Urban Decay needs to learn from them because they did a great job. So I'm gonna spray with this and I like this because it's a little more hydrating than the Urban Decay. Um, the Urban Decay, it works so freaking well, but it feels like hairspray on your face to me. Um, I love it. I use it almost every day, but this is like more hydrating, um, like lighter. So since I don't have to do a lot today, I'm just going to put this on. I thought I was so cool when I bought this Patrick Ta um, fan and I just wanted to... I just wanted to own something from Patrick Ta when I first started buying makeup and I use this every single day for my setting spray. It just, it dries it within like two seconds. So love that. Um, I got a couple of new lip products that I want to try. I don't know if I want to go in with the Too Faced Melted, can't see anything, the Too Faced Melted in the shade Sellout or if I want to do the KKW combo that I got. So let's let's look at this. Um, my camera's dying and I really need to go. So I really need to finish this. Hopefully my camera doesn't die before we finish this. I'm almost done. Actually, 
who am I? I forgot the most important part, mascara, because you look like a bald eagle till you put mascara on after makeup. Um, my favorite, I just got a new one, but I'm gonna finish this one up, the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. If you have never tried this mascara, you need to go spend your money on a high-end brand because this is by far the best mascara ever. It's worth every single dollar and it comes off like a dream. Like all you need is a little bit of warm water and it just slides off, but it doesn't come off unless you do it with a little bit of warm water. So it's waterproof, but comes off with warm water. Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, it doesn't flake, it doesn't smear. It's so freaking good. And it adds like the little fibers to your lashes. So it makes my bald eyelashes look like I actually have some. Can someone recommend a really good eyelash curler? Cause I have this really old one. I don't even know what this is. It says birch box, which I don't even know what that is or where it came from. Um, but if someone can recommend a really good eyelash curler because I definitely need it. Okay, this is without mascara. Okay, this is one. That's one coat, which is all I ever do because I don't like it like to get clumpy or anything, which that one's never gotten clumpy on me, but a lot of mascaras do. So I'm just gonna do that. We are gonna do lips real quick. I'm gonna try, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna like this KKW. This is Nude One KKW lip liner. I'm gonna go with this. Okay, I like that color. I need to sharpen it. I don't know if I wanna go in with this KKW lipstick. Okay, that's not gonna focus. Um, let's see. That's pretty. Maybe I'll just go in with this and then try the melted on top. I don't know. That's real light. That's really, really light. Looks darker on the thing. I mean, it's pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with this, um... We're gonna go in with this Melted Matte Too Faced in the shade Sellout. Let's see if we like this. This is definitely darker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is an odd color. That's a good color, okay. It's a little more pink than I thought it was gonna be. It's like a mauve pink. All right, I'm gonna do my hair really, really fast before I have to go, but that's the new makeup I got to try. I really liked the KKW lip liner. Um, really liked the Rare Beauty concealer. I The Patrick Ta blush is a fan of mine. Um, the Hourglass mascara, if you don't have it, go get it. And then what else did I try? This Hourglass palette. It was pretty good. The colors aren't exactly my taste, but it's pretty for what it is. Um, the Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightening Powder. It's not creasing and it did brighten some, so I like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And there's a lot of exciting things coming up between the vlogs and more makeup videos, so. I will see you guys in the next video.